Hey there, it's Angie M. I was going to do a separate video for the Villa Beautiful December kit unboxing and, you know, a sayonara to 2020, but I actually feel like this is a perfect sayonara. And before we go any further, yes, my fingers, one hand is not painted. I actually had something really, really strange happen where I was cooking for Christmas when I went to, to shower before my mother-in-law came over to see my daughter, I was in the shower and all of all of this hand just peeled off, like like literally. So when I painted my nails, there must have been residue from the nail polish remover on this hand and not this hand, because even though even though it's chipped because I was picking at it trying to see if I could peel it off, like this hand this polish is on there and actually. Like several of my fingers, my thumb included, look really, really nice. So yeah, it's it's a thing, but that's 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 why you have have this effect. But uh yeah, so the December kit is Au Revoir 2020. And instead of doing a separate goodbye 2020, sayonara to the dumpster fire, I think just talking about this kit will be a great way to end and a great way to begin. And quite frankly, I need a little bit of, of that to myself because if I were to design a Christmas card, it would literally be happy little elves pissing on a cute little dumpster fire at this point. That is where we are at. So this is Villa Beautiful. This year has been a, a mixed bag of, of both good and bad things. Here she is. I feel like feel like I've got way too warm tone and you guys aren't going to be able to see this as well as I would like. So I'm just going to quickly move over here. I'm just going to bring my soft box just a little bit closer. See if that helps at all. Maybe a little. So it comes in this cute little bag, cute little reusable bag here. So I make sure my personal information's on there. I really like how this looks. It's super, it's super duper pretty. Just, I'm not liking the exposure right now. I feel like to my naked eye, it's fine. But when I look at it on, on the monitor, it just looks, it looks very warm. So let me get this open here. Oh, it's twisted. It's twisty. It's twisted. Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Untwisted. So you get this cute little card that tells you what is in here. And she says that as, that as you're talking about, oh, and look at that. Hello, 2021. That is beautiful. I will definitely use this in my planner. But uh, she's mark, mark off what you have on here just so you make sure you've got everything in your kit, which is a really, really smart idea. So... Let's start with this. So the first thing I pulled out here is a nice little clutch pouch. I guess they had it in a previous iteration in black. I'm just trying to find the opening. There's the opening. Okay, so here she is. Very much a nude tone. Very pretty, very creamy colored. I don't usually like a clear clutch, but there are so many places now that you go to where they want you know, well, I should say where we used to go to back before, you know, that which shall not be named, where something like this would actually be perfect to use as a clutch and just put like ID and things like that in so it can be seen. So I will hang on to this because I think this I can get some use out of, which is nice. And I say that and you just, you saw me recently declutter some stuff from cloth and paper. I'm just pulling out some other things here. We'll save the pens for last. Oh, and I did watch the spoilers for this, and I am super duper 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 excited about something I'm going to show you in just a moment. I'm just pulling everything out of this bag, which I will also be keeping just because it is incredibly cute and I like the colors. I don't know if I'll find a use for it, but I really like it. I'll set that aside as well. I have the pen set aside. We have some nice washi here. Gold foil and taupe is very much where it went. This has very much of a marbling effect. 
it's slightly lighter in color, but very taupey. I really like this aesthetically. It is very much me. So I am super duper excited about that. Okay. What do we want to talk about first? Want to talk about the sticker book? Well, let's talk about something that came with it. So I do not have a banded planner, which a lot of times is what you would see a little thing like this clipped onto. But I think it will work beautifully on one of my handbags. I think it will look very, very cute. Or on my keychain, it will look neat. I like I like the aesthetic of the black. I like the tortoise shell. I just think it's I just think it's cute. I think it's very chic. I think it's the kind of thing, honestly, that I would have picked out for myself if I were picking out something like this. So I really like that. I feel like aesthetically this kit ticked all of the boxes for me. And then they send, they're folded up for shipping to make it easier. I couldn't imagine trying to put them in the boxes and papers, some papers here that you can use as dashboards. This is a vellum. So you have, it's this very beautiful printed vellum. It, it's actually perfect the way they do it because I have an HP mini and a half letter. So I will just cut this in half. So I have one side for my H for my half letter and then the other side for my HP mini. And I've got this guy here, which is very pretty. Flowers, very abstract. I realize I'm not marking any of this off as I'm talking. All right, foiled leaves, washi. Marbled foil lines, washi. Dangle charm, check. Clear envelope pouch with nude trim, check. Four cardstock sheets and two vellum sheets. So here's that guy, very pretty. I also, these were available to some extent in the downloads. So I have like the wallpaper on my phone and the wallpaper on my computer I have done in these. I really like that this is double-sided, so when I go to put this in my planner, I can have one side that looks one way and a side that looks another. Really enjoyable. I'm glad they thought about that. This is really pretty. I really like this. And they're just a really cool water marble type effect. Again, and this is, I mean, all of the tones here are really, I, I'm into it, I'm digging it, I'm down for it. It's kind of my thing. I think that this will be a great way. I really love this. I believe this in a more blushy tone is what I actually have on my phone right now. So I'm super excited to welcome 2021, which is some really beautiful things here. And these are really, really beautiful. All right, so speaking of beautiful things, something I got excited for that I didn't expect to get excited for, mainly because I kind of poo-poo the monthly journaling cards that I get from Cloth and Paper because I don't know how to use them. And then she showed these, so you have all 12 months and they are gold foil. And I was just like, yes, they're beautiful. And I think what it is, is it's the cursive and the gold foiling that got me. So you've got January, you've got February, you've got March. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe I will just laminate these all together and like hang them on a wall somewhere so I can just reference them, just like stare at them from my desk. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see because I really do wanna use and see these. I do have something that sits in front of me that I can even set them in that's transparent, that works. So we will see, but these guys, these this is a win. It's a win right here. All right, so that was 2021 foiled cards. Um, let's just jump into this next thing here. I am excited about this because it's transparent stickies and I really like and have been using bookmarky type stuff more. So we have a grayish, a mauveish, and a beige-ish stickies on this neat little sticky holder, transparent sticky card. 
that's, that's tabbed. And once you're done with this, I mean, you could reuse this, washi card it, whatnot, or just use it as a bookmark, which I'm really enjoying that type of situation. So I like and appreciate this. I have lots of stickies, and I like that these are a different shape than the cloth and paper squares. So they're more rectangular where I have squares from cloth and paper, so this might fit in different areas a little bit better. I really like and appreciate that. Okay, let's mark that off while we're at it. Transparent square flag set. Okay, transparent stickers and cards. I'm just going to open this. I know I'm saving the best for last. Well, I don't even know if I think the pens are the best from this. So I will say I'm, I'm debating on these last couple of things. So new year, 2021, new, new year, new goals. I think there's a film on this. I'm not gonna remove it because I kind of like how that looks. But that's what that guy looks like. I'll show you the stickers in a second. And then it just says bonjour, au revoir 2020, bonjour 2021, yay. And then, oh, it's backwards. This is just a pretty guy. Again, that you can throw stickies on, and I really do, and I have been repurposing things like this from cloth and paper for the monthlies that they did on plastic as well. So I don't mind these because I found that I do use them. Again, they make perfect bookmarks too, <laughs> just, just so you know. And with my punch, I could punch these if I wanted and have them sticking up and kind of use them as tabs as well. So there's always that going on. And then this is nice. I appreciate the bar stickers because I did find in my HP Mini that I did use my cloth and paper tape, sticker tape. And we've got some shapes and I like, I do like the colors. I am down for that. And then these are some transparent word stickers. So I like that there are some focused things on VB kit pre-orders and reminders. And there's just some general stuff in there because I do like to have that. While I try to be somewhat minimal in my planner, I'm really not. Oh, I forgot about that one. Then we have just some more stickers. And then these are corner stickers. I like that it pulls in the theme of the, of the dashboards. And then we just have some icon stickers. So these, I do think, ooh. Okay, we had two of these. They were, sorry about that. They were stuck together there because I do think I will get use out of these as well. I am not mad at that. And then here is, this was inspired by a candle she really liked. That just says plan. I, I really like that, that's really cute. And this would look really neat, like if you had, if you put a card holder on here and actually placed one of these cards, you know, or you had them, um, so you had four of them and you had it in your half letter. It would just, it would look really neat. It would look pretty. Okay. All right, we're getting down, we're getting down to it. All right, let's go with the stickers next. So we have a pretty sheet here on top with the pens and then some little, bon some little bonjour stickers. Okay, that's right underneath here. All right, so that's underneath the cover. Really pretty, I like that. I will use these. It would be cool, like particularly the roses if they came out with like an entire sheet of roses because I could see myself really using that a lot and liking and enjoying. And then here are the stickers. So, up all right so it's a beautiful day to start and then she did talk about how instead of doing gold foiling it's black foiling and i really appreciate that i think it looks really cool and then you have some some very nice usable stickers here some utilitarian stickers to remind you to do some things and some nice squares for notes really appreciate that. Some more squares for some little jot down items this week to do, some headers, 
new week, new goal, stuff like that. And then just some bigger versions of those pretty little stickers here. And then some flags and some shaped dots. I like this. I will try, I will try, I have a place that I can try these out. Hello 2021. I kind of like these bigger, these bigger notices. I don't know what I will use them for, but I like that they're in there. And I can, again, I, this entire kit, I can see myself getting mileage out of in terms of use. So I am really, really excited about that. I am really, really excited about this sheet. And actually, I want the, I think I want this particular sheet. Do I want this in my, to go with my planner or do I want this to go with my notebook? I kind of want this with my notebook. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I think since, it, okay, I'm torn, I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps this will stay with both is where I'm going with that. All right, very cool. All right. So something I was really, really, really excited for is the tab bookmark. Not so much the subject stickers. As I said, I kind of, I like cursive. So here are the tab, here are the stickers if you want to use the pre-written stickers. Now, this reminds me kind of like if you're using a Hobonichi style planner, Stology, those kinds of guys, a lot of times this is what you will see. But I, I like just bookmarks and I use a moleskin, so I could also see this working out very well in my moleskin. Sit down, yes. So you have some top tabs and something I love that she did, you have some bottom tabs as well, which is just genius for those of us, and this is black foiling, for those of us who really, really like a bottom tab, I appreciate that because I think sometimes people forget that we exist. Bottom tabbers exist. <laughs> I really like that, the abstract lady. Write it down, write it down. I guess you, you could do that upwards, but to me it looks more like a lower tab. And then here's an upper tab. Hustle for the pretty things, I like that as well. So these I was super excited about. Again, just because I, I think these would be something that'll be usable for me and I'm actually going to steal the abstract lady for in my moleskin. And they're a good size for my HP mini. And I know what y'all are waiting for. Y'all are waiting for the dang pens, right? All right, so the Crystal BB Au Revoir pen has gold hardware. Here she is before I pull her out. I'm really excited about this. I am glad I didn't purchase any of the coffee pens. I really wanted to, but this taupey color is everything. I am so excited to have this. So it's got some some gray crystals in there, some taupey crystals. It is very beautiful. It is not matte and the hardware is gold. So it is kind of shiny, which I'm okay with. And I already have, so next to it for comparison, this is PYT. And I can see why I like these. They're kind of cut from the same cloth in terms of idea, except PYT is matte. And then this is Lucia, Lucia which is very pink, and I like very pink. So I am excited to get to use this because, again, I feel like this ticked a box for me that the chocolatiness and the caramelliness of, of the coffee just, just didn't. And then we have Bonjour, 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 Bonjour. Oh, with the silver hardware, sorry, I had a Beauty and the Beast moment there. Don't, uh, don't yell at me, Disney. Don't yell at me. And I'll show you, I'll just show you the comparison. So this guy has iridescent. I want to like it less, but I don't. So it has iridescent crystals. 
really love it remind it reminds me of old school jewelry that's what that's what iridescent crystals always remind me of and i actually have some in my jewelry box purchased from an antique store i say old timey because i don't know exactly what period you would say it was it was from but it's a thing so in comparison this is very beigey and this almost has like a very muted mauvish tone and neither one is matte they're both very beautiful i'm just going to pick up my planner here can't remember i think there's a film on this one it feels like it Sorry, I went to pick it. I went to pick it up, and I can. You can almost feel. It almost feels like this is embossed into it. So I'm pretty sure there's a film on there, but I can't get that off. It's like, which one would you like? And I gotta give it to it, but this guy, this guy is the one that speaks to me right now. She's pretty, but he's. Mm, it's almost like a pair. It's like a him and a her. It's very New Year's. Very winter. Look at that. Just look at that again. Look at that against my planner. What makes it work is the gray stone. It's the gray crystals. That's what makes it work against that planner. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Away. I'm so satisfied we got those guys together in there. It's a gel pen. I'm taking this off because I'm not reselling this. <laughs> Belongs to me now. All right. And then here is where I was doing the mark off. So there's the last one. They These guys write beautifully. Like, I would recommend if you are looking for a good pen that ranges anywhere from what is it like 850 on their website for the ones that might have slight defects I, I have one the the Lucia with with the white and the pink is I don't know what the defect is because she's just beautiful but to like what is it ten dollars ten fifty a pen I mean these are beautiful and you get refills so you can refill it it's not like you have to keep buying a pen over and over again but yeah, that's hello 2021. So that is it. That is it for the unboxing. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just like sitting here staring at it. I'm like, you're so beautiful. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You do get a little bit of scratching. Kind of, I, it won't show up here. Kind of at the tip because of how it, how it fits in to actually cap, but that's okay. That's kind of common. I don't really notice it. It's just, I have a fine point pen in here right now. Let's just pull that out. And... Choirs of angels. Look at that. Look at that. It's just a nice subdued neutral color. It doesn't fight with the black. It's not, it's not trying to compete. It's just like, hi, I'm here and I'm beautiful and love me. So that is it. That is it in my world right now. Let me put my pen back in here. <laughs> put my other pen away. Do, 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 do. Oh, I just moved something in. Oh, I had pen stored. All right, so that is it, and I will catch you in the next one.